Hello everyone. Here we talk about one application of simple interest. It is called promissory note. Here's an example. Promissory note happens between two parties. These two parties could be anybody. Could be company. Could be government. Could be just two individuals. One party is called the debtor. Who is borrowing money from another party and sign this piece of paper? It is called a promissory note. The paper shows when the money will be returned. What kind of term will be carried? Mr. B is the debtor in this case. Another party mentioned in this note, Mr. A, is the creditor. Who lent money out to Mr. B? The quantity of money being mentioned is called the face value of this promissory note, two thousand dollar, and carry the term sixty days after this date. The date shows on the promissory note, September first, two thousand nine. That is called the issue date. And the term also follow two thousand dollar and certain percent of dollar. That means interest rate being mentioned. For promissory note, if there's no compounding situation mentioned, so the interest rate would be considered as simple interest situation. For promissory note. So we need to figure out how much money would be ended at mature time. That is called the mature value of the promissory note. It is also called the true value of the promissory note. Whoever is holding this promissory note going to cash in the money of mature value from the original debtor. But the promissory note could be traded out before the mature time. At that moment, the price of the promissory note being sold out before the mature date would be following the situation of the interest rate at that time. So we need to understand how to figure out the price of the promissory note before the mature date. Normally, we must calculate the mature value s of the note, that is the future value, which following the term written on the promissory note. And then second part, we calculating the proceeds. It is also called the price, and it is the present value, or it's called the discounted value before the mature day. If it is traded out, so it is counted as present value from the mature value. Go backwards. Here we show you the chart. We have face value. We have issue date. We have mature value. We have mature date at the end. If the promissory note is traded out before mature date. That is called the trading date, and then you have a trading value or a trading price. That part is called the proceed. We calculate from beginning, follow the term mature value of the promissory note. It is the true value, and then from the mature value, we calculate present value. That is the trading price. When we calculate the mature value, the interest rate being mentioned on the promissory note that is promised from beginning, that one is applied all the way from beginning to the end, from face value to mature value. When we calculate the trading price from mature value, we calculate the present value based on the market situation, the interest rate at that moment. So make sure the true value is future value from face value, and then we calculate trading price is.
present value. The logic is very clear. Keep that in mind; you won't get confused. Example one: For the promissory note on the side, determine the due date, interest period, amount of interest, and the material value. So here we have two thousand dollar face value. Issue date show September first, twenty twenty. Six days after the date. That would be October thirty first, twenty twenty. The interest period clearly mentioned sixty days. Amount of interest we do the calculation from the simple interest formula P R T. Put information in properly, give us the interest twenty six dollars thirty cents. The material value would be. Principal two thousand dollar plus twenty six dollar thirty cents give us the material value two thousand twenty six dollar thirty cents. Here we try to focus on the mathematics part and the basic logic of handling promissory note. In the real world, we may experience the three day grace period. By law, for the debtor. They can have the three days extension to pay back the money. We tend to ignore this situation, just purely focus on the information from the note directly. Example two: Find the material value of an eight hundred dollar six months note with interest at seven point five percent, dated May thirty first, twenty twenty. We have the information. The date of issue, May thirty first, twenty twenty. The terms are six months. From here, we can figure out the mature date would be November thirtieth, twenty twenty. We simply count six months from end of May. The interest period would be one hundred eighty three days between issue date and the mature date. In that case. We can plug all the information into the formula properly, give us the answer: eight hundred thirty dollar eight cents as the material value. Example three: a five month note dated January thirty first two thousand nineteen and bearing interest at eight percent per annum has a maturity value of five hundred fifty eight dollar eleven cents. Find the face value of the note. So we're looking for present value from the material value. Since material value provided in this question, we have the due date based on the issue date and the term five months. We can figure out the days between as hundred fifty days. So we put the information into our formula. Finding present value, we turn out five hundred forty dollar thirty five cents. That is the answer for this question. If you try to use your calculator, here is how you type in the information in your calculator one time. Exactly follow the format showing at the bottom on the screen. Just remind you, you can do this calculation very conveniently in Excel. You should try it out. Example four: a hundred eighty day note for two thousand dollar with interest at seven percent is dated September eighteen two thousand eighteen. Calculate the value of the note on December first two thousand eighteen if money is worth five percent at that moment. When we say money is worth five percent, that means at that moment the market interest rate is five percent. We have many different ways to say the interest rate. Look at the issue day, September eighteen, and one hundred eighty day term would be the half year about. So until December fourth, that is not mature yet. That would be before mature. So we are looking for the treated value before mature. 
The first step, we must calculate the material value. Follow the term. 180 days with face value two thousand dollar and seven percent interest rate, give us material value two thousand sixty nine dollar four cents. And then we need to figure out the trading price, which is present value. And we have to know what kind of time period we should apply. So the time period should be from the trading date to mature date. So based on the information, we have the mature date would be March seventeen, two thousand nine. That's exactly after one hundred eighty days from September eighteen, two thousand eighteen. So March seventeen, two thousand nineteen, is the mature day, and from the trading day December first, two thousand eighteen, until March seventeen, two thousand nineteen, we have one hundred six days. So this one hundred six days should be used in the formula for looking for price and value, and that is the price we are looking for: two thousand thirty nine dollar forty three cents. Example five: Calculate the present value on the date of issue of a non-interest bearing nine hundred fifty dollar three months promissory note dated April thirty, twenty twenty. If money is worth six point five percent, the situation in this question: the promissory note is non-interest bearing. So in that case. The original note does not carry an interest. That means face value would be the material value. So material value is nine hundred fifty dollar. The interest period from April thirty, twenty twenty, until July thirty, twenty twenty. That's exactly three months and being counted as ninety one days. So we put this ninety-one days in the formula for calculating present value. Give us the idea: nine hundred thirty-four dollar eighty-five cents. The background in this question means the original note being signed with no interest, but the note holder creditor have this note sold it. That means immediately he might need the cash, so he sold it to the third party, and that's the price being sold. Example six: Henry purchased a large screen TV at a local store that had advertised no payment until 2020. So he signed the contract on March 14, 2019, agreeing to pay. One thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollar on January second, twenty twenty. If money is worth eleven percent, what is the value of the note on the day of signing? The interest period from March fourteen, two thousand nineteen, to January second, twenty twenty. There are two hundred ninety-four days in between. So the value of the note on March fourteen, two thousand nineteen, being calculated from present value formula, put all the information in, turn out eighteen hundred thirty-two dollar sixty-two cents. Example seven. Here is the question. The numbers we have handled earlier in another example, but here we give you a little bit more real story, and to let you see what may happen for the promissory note. David borrowed two thousand dollar from George and signed a one hundred eighty day note for two thousand dollar with interest at seven percent on September eighteen, two thousand eighteen. George held the note and sold it to Sarah at interest rate five percent on December first, two thousand eighteen. How much money did George make, and how much money did Sarah make when she cashed in the money from David 
at the end. Earlier we have done this calculation. So the due date of the note should be March 17, 2019. And we calculate the material value, which is the true value of the promissory note, give us $2,069.04. Then the interest period from December 1, 2018 until March 17, 2019 is 106 days. Earlier we have done this calculation, we turn out the price for the 5% market interest rate at that moment, the price is $2,039.43. With the story being mentioned in this question, so we can see the amount of money that George made, $39.43. He landed the $2,000 out, and then he sold this note for $2,039.43. If we switch this $39.43 to the percentage interest rate, it would be explained as George made $39.43 over 74 days. So the interest he actually got is 9.72%. That's the interest rate. His principal, $2,000. For Sarah, Sarah made money. She cashing at the end $2,069.04. And he, she paid $2,039.43. So she made $29.61. And she made $29.61 over 106 days. So she actually realized the interest rate is 5%. So we have a little review using simple interest rate formula to calculate interest rate. See you next time.